Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video we're just doing a quick mail haul video so you can see what's going to be coming up uh, in the reviews in the near future. I still have a bunch of stuff to go over or at least to publish on YouTube from Comic-Con and all that. But these will be on the channel very soon so let's get started. This is a package I got um, through the P.O. Box. It is from a buddy of mine on Facebook and a viewer on YouTube or however you want to rearrange those titles, whatever. Justin, thank you for sending this. He sent this, it said Anthony. Not sure if you have these or not. If you do, my bad, if you don't, enjoy. Justin, thank you very much, Justin. I do have this one, but I always appreciate Halo stuff, so, and I definitely appreciate you guys sending me things, so don't even worry about if I have it or not. That's awesome, I'm glad to have more Halo stuff. And then this, I believe, is Sam Fisher. Definitely don't have it, but it looks like a pretty cool figure. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I mean, uh, just the thought of sending me something is very much appreciated. And then sending me some cool stuff. Bat Batman base. Looks like maybe the Keaton design. Pretty cool stuff. So thanks a lot, Justin. I always appreciate stuff like that. Uh, next up, this is just a couple of things I picked up. Um, just some spare soda stuff. Mostly just fodder, fodder quality. But uh, you guys know how I am about the Soda Street Fighter line. So that's the exclusive Adon. Unfortunately, he is in really rough shape. I knew that when I bought him. Uh, but I figured I might as well have him. Here's a Honda. He's actually pretty in pretty good shape other than that leg coming off. So I might, uh, might do some surgery on him and get him functional again. And then Ibuki, which I actually needed. And she's in pretty decent shape. My Ibuki's crotch broke. Uh, just by uh, all on its own. I swear I wasn't doing anything. It just broke so now I have one to replace parts with. Uh, the guys over at Hia or Haya Toys, I'm not sure how to pronounce that still, but they sent me the next batch of alien figures. I already took them out of the package because I wanted to look at them. The spitter and the boiler. These guys look pretty darn cool. I especially like this one a lot. I'm excited to review him with those uh, yellow spots on him and the new sculpt work. Looks really nice. And then this one's pretty cool too. Not, not a personal favorite in terms of the design of the character, but the figure itself has a lot of nice detail to it, so I'm, I'm excited to look at those. Uh, next up we have something NECA sent me to review. This is Diablo from Diablo 3. I uh, just got into playing this game recently, so I was talking to uh, my contact at NECA and they said they needed a reviewer for this. So I figured, what the heck, it looks like an awesome figure, I'll take a look at it, and so far I am very impressed with it, I'll have to talk more about it when I get to the review of it actually, but pretty darn cool figure so far, so thanks to NECA for that. Uh, I picked up the new Donkey Kong and Bowser. I know they are definitely not on par with the figure arts, <coughs> but they are in scale with the figure arts, and for 15 bucks you can't beat them, so I was happy to grab those. And I will uh, talk about them in more detail once we get to the review. But there we go. I haven't found any of the uh, smaller ones like Mario or Yoshi or Link. I'm pretty sure Link is way out of scale, but we'll see. Uh, I did pick up the Figma Avengers Thor. I opened it already, of course, because I couldn't help myself. Uh, of course, I'll be doing a review of him soon. But he is a pretty snazzy figure so far. Uh, I can't say it's perfect, but it's pretty good, so keep an eye out for that review. And then, of course, I had to get the classic 1990s movie Turtles. So those guys are going to be reviewed soon. Unfortunately, they have a bit of the same set of problems as the uh, Bebop and Rocksteady did when they came out in terms of lack of paint and lack of effort. They're still pretty cool, but you know, we'll get into it later. And then lastly, I picked up the new batch of Star Wars Black 6-inch figures. So here we have Anakin, and we have the Stormtrooper that already came out, but I needed another one. And then we have the Clone Trooper, so that looks pretty cool. I will definitely be reviewing all of these as soon as I can. I have a bunch of stuff waiting to go already, but I'll get these done ASAP, and then you guys can watch the video. So thanks to people that sent me things, and keep an eye out for all of these other reviews and good stuff. And in the meantime keep collecting.